Vic Styles Video. Hi everyone, I am Vixen of Bali and welcome to the Vic Styles Video. One of the most interesting topics of a special relativity is the time dilation. The phenomenon of the time passing slower to an observer who is moving relative to another observer is given into account. The perception of the world of the stationary observer and the moving observer is different. Now, that sounds very mysterious, right? So today we will discuss all about the time dilation and how does time dilation exactly work. It was Einstein's second postulate in special relativity that a speed of light in a vacuum is constant and independent to its source. So no matter what frame of reference you're in, no matter how you're moving to the universe, you're always measuring the speed of light in a vacuum to be the same. According to Vijay Balasubramanian, a physicist, moving clocks are supposed to run slow compared to stationary clocks and that the speed of thing is depends upon your state of motion. To show you how it works, let me show this video from the World Science Festival about the moving and the stationary clock concept of the time dilation. So here we have a special kind of clock called the light clock. Here we're going to use light to measure the seconds. So you see the light of the bowl is going up and down, up and down, just like the tick tock of the clock. In this way, we're going to track our time passes using the motion of the bowl of light down and up, down and up. So what we want to do is, we will put two clocks, two light clocks, one stationary and the other one is moving and compare them these two clocks at what you see is completely synchronized both of the light bowls go down and up down and up and down and up both of the clocks are clearly going the same speed and time that is the notion of the same time so now what we're gonna do is we will get these two clocks aside and we're gonna take one moving then let's see what happens all right so here we go notice that the balls go down and up down and up however the movement of the ball of the moving clocks has longer distance to go down and up down and up and so you can see that the moving clock has less time than the stationary one so this is the time dilation concept in which moving objects has slower time than the stationary object because the moving takes longer distance for the ball of light to reach near the speed of light. Another example is when you set an atomic clock flying into the airplane and an observer from Earth records the time that the airplane takes while flying. It records longer time in the clock of the observer on Earth than to the clock that is in the flying airplane. So to calculate the time dilation of the two observers relative to each other, we use the formula T prime is equal to T over the square root of 1 minus U squared divided by the C squared. T prime here is the time of the clock as measured by the stationary observer and the T is the time as measured by the moving object. U is the speed of moving object and C is the speed of light. So here is another example for time dilation. Let us solve it together. A rocket with a speed of 0.995 c travels 10 years to a distant planet measured by the astronaut inside it. How long does the rocket travel in space measured by the people on Earth? 
The first thing we need to do is to identify the given or the known and what has been asked or the unknown in the problem. In this problem, we have the given speed, which is 0.995C, and have a given proper time, which is 10 years, or the time as measured by the moving object. To calculate it, let's use the time dilation formula, which is the T prime is equal to T over the square root of 1 minus U squared divided by the C squared. Then, we need to substitute the given value into the formula. So we have t prime is equal to 10 years divided by square root of 1 minus 0 0.995c squared divided by the c squared. Then t prime is equal to 10 years divided by the square root of 1 minus 0 0.990025 c squared. Divided by the c squared, then cancel c squared, c squared, then t prime is equal to 10 years divided by the square root of 0 0.009975. So after which we get the T prime is equal to 10 years divided by 0 0.09987492117. So T prime is equal to 100.12 years or 100 years and 44 days. So imagine 10 years had passed and the observer who is in the racket while well, here in us on earth it is 100 years had passed so this is the concept of the time dilation which the moving object has a slower time compared to the stationary object so i hope you learn more about the time dilation and a special relativity concept so again this is Vexelin Bali and saying that science is mysterious, yet it's amazing.